This is the last formal proof you need to know for circle geometry. The angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle subtended by the chord. So they're referring to this angle over here, CBE, this angle, and it's formed between a tangent and a chord, and it's equal to the angle that is subtended by the chord. So this chord BC subtends the angle A. Okay, so we want to show that this angle is equal to angle A. Now to do that, we're going to have to start with our constructions as always. So we'll construct the diameter BF. Important that you say diameter. This line BF must be a diameter. Then you want to join this line FC. Okay, so we have a chord there, FC. And we'll start again by labeling this angle here, angle C, B, E, we'll label that X. Now, the construction of the diameter is important for two reasons. The first reason is the diameter is always perpendicular to the tangent. So we have a 90 degree angle formed there. Notice now, if this angle, if the whole angle FBE is 90, and angle CBE is X, then this remaining bit will be 90 minus X. It will be whatever is left of that 90 degrees after we take away X. The second thing to note about this diameter is that it subtends a 90 degree angle at the circumference. So the diameter BF subtends a 90 degree angle at point C. Okay, so this whole angle FCB is 90 degrees. And we usually refer to this theorem as angle in a semicircle. Now, look at this triangle, FBC. This angle is 90 minus X. This one is 90. The third angle of the triangle will definitely be X because X plus 90 minus x plus 90 all add up to 180. Now watch here. If angle F is x, then angle A will also be x because these are angles in the same segment. Do you see the bow tie? So if F is x, A is also x. And hence, this angle, which we labeled x in the beginning, the angle between the tangent and the chord, is equal to the angle subtended by that code. Just make sure you got your reasons jotted down and that's it.